Hey, how you doing, West Coast Johnny? Thanks for stopping by. It's been a minute since I made a video. I've been busy on some, uh, just doing things. And today I'm working on my Japanese koi pond. Uh, the structure that I built that goes over it five years ago, one of the posts is, is, has cracked and moved because um, I didn't design it. Uh, I, 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 it's a special type of uh, design. Well, anyways, this book right here, famous. If you're into this kind of stuff, this Japanese garden book from Sunset up in Menlo Park, California, is like um, the Bible of the topic of Japanese gardens. So a must have, that's where I get all my inspirations and designs. I don't use, uh, like I'm, I didn't use any Simpson ties and Simpson brackets and stuff. When I built this because well, for one, no one wants to see those things. They look ugly, you know, and uh, it wasn't the style I was looking for. So let me show you what I'm doing. Follow me. All right, so here we are back at the koi pond. Now, there's a big structure. That's the structure I built f about five years ago or more. And what I want to show you is what's been happening to it. So see that post back there in the back? it's crooked it's leaning this way because this post is near the corner this post should have been way up here what what it's doing we have such a span right here that it's actually pulling like the whole structure is pulling a little bit and if you look at that post lined up with another post like this one that's straight you can see how crooked it is so that post is going to come out. Now, I'm not going to put the new post down in the concrete because termites will find it. And I don't want, even if I do a pre-treatment, I don't want a bunch of uh, termiticide near my fish. So, and I'm not going to use pressure treated the wood because it's ugly and it twists. So we got number one grade or better dug fur, six by six, S4S, which means smooth on four sides. I'm going to dig all this out and we're going to make a new sauna tube over here with cement in it. And then the new post is going to sit on top of it and get attached to the concrete and then get attached. Probably I want to line up this one probably right around here. See back right now it's way over here. It doesn't seem like much, but this is really heavy and only these posts, these four posts are holding the whole structure up. All right, so we're going to put a support right across here at an angle, a two by four. Then I'm going to put a post under that down onto my floor jack so I could jack up the post to support this and then we can remove. Hey, all right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to jack this up till, so that it'll take the pressure off of this other beam, the post. I'm going to unbolt that in a second, but right now we just want to get this nice and tight. Okay, that's it. I could hear it creaking. It went up about an inch, actually. Great. These go back to the early 60s. My dad made them. There's a picture of me and my sister standing in front of them. Now, when we put the new piece in, instead of one bolt in the middle, we're going to have a bolt here and a bolt here. Because, because it was in the middle, it was able to do this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We don't want, we can't have the, the post here anymore um, because of the span. So I'm going to move it. We're using this little tube. I'm going to cut it and fill it with concrete carefully. Uh, a lot of plumbing. There's like giant plumbing uh, for this pond, like three inch, four inch plumbing, just like a house. Um, here's some of my equipment right here. I have to make a, 
I'm making a cover for it. That's why there's some posts in the ground because um, I'm making a really cool like Japanese style cover for all this equipment that opens up. I'm going to use my electric shovel here and I'm going to drill, or I'm sorry, I'm going to cut a big hole in the ground and put that little piece of sauna tube in there so I have an anchor for my post to sit on, you know, big plumbing equipment, three and four inch pipes going up to the waterfalls and stuff. Okay, I have a piece of sauna tube cut. Now that's 10 inches across and we're really, really level and that's important because we don't want, uh, you know, we just want everything to be as straight as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some cement to put in there with a piece of rebar. Now the rebar is going to go in the concrete and stick up about four inches. Then on our new post, which is in the shop, I'm going to go get it. We're going to drill a bottom hole in that post about four or five inches. We're going to set it right on the rebar and the epoxy and the rebar and the concrete, it's all going to kind of set. I wanted to show you the fish, but the way the sun is, it's making it really difficult. So here's what we got. This one right here, that's called the Tancho Sankey. It's all white with little black specks. It has a red Tancho on its forehead, which is supposed to look like a Japanese flag. And then the black specks on his body don't touch the flag. The fish a little smaller next to him. That one is pure white with the tan show. It has no markings on its body, and that's known as just a tan show. And these are going to get about two feet in about two years. Now, the other fish are hiding them, unfortunately. There's a really cool, um, it's called an Utsuri Mono, and it's gold and black. And he's just hiding in the rocks. Uh, then, then there's one called the Kim Jin Rin, which is really, really cool. And it's all gray with like orange stripes on its body. And it's a doitsu, which is means it has no scales. And uh, those are the five I have right now. So these guys actually are gonna get really, really big. I'm gonna do a whole special on these guys soon. out here it's pretty windy just wanted to uh, see uh, so what I'm doing right now I already got my post all cut and measured and everything I'm just gonna make some marks so when I drill my 916 hole in the bottom of this it's, it'll fit down on this rebar and uh, I'm gonna do that right now <clears throat> All right, so I'm marking where I'm gonna drill my 9 16 hole, and that's gonna fit right over my half inch rebar really nice. I decided to use my heavy duty Loctite. I, I use this for a lot of stuff, it's called the PL375. And I just put a whole bunch of it around the rebar and then around the base. So when I set my post on it and it all hardens up, it just makes it more you know, stronger because it's, it's, it's more uh, joined with this. Okay, got it in. And doesn't want to go underneath these. That's okay. I'm going to jack this up a little bit. Perfect. Well, 
Okay, just about, it's going to be about there. Oh, right there. Okay, I'm going to make some marks. Thanks. Very important step here. Whenever you have a post and it's down and it's sitting on concrete, maybe on a patio, what you don't want to do is let water accumulate underneath here when it rains because it's going to ruin the bottom of this. It's going to get fungus and dry rot. So, rather than just using plain old silicone, I'm using this ProFlex RV flexible sealant. I use this on my Scamp trailer when I put in uh, my windows and stuff. And it's 100% waterproof. So we're going to go all around here with a nice bead so the bottom of our post stays dry permanently. Okay. And I'm going to put another one diagonal up and up over so well here's a look at the pond from the waterfall down so it comes down meanders and goes into here which is about 5,000 gallons closer to six actually so let's look at the post it's all finished went ahead and uh, put the proflex seal around it because we don't want any water getting in there see that that's going to last pretty much forever i mean it, it stays flexible but you have to put a lot of it on it's better than, in, than silicone and now what i'm going to do is just you know, the paint, because it gets so hot here, the paint, I'll have to sand this and just give it some coats before the summer comes. So thanks everybody for joining and I'm uh, glad you guys were with me on this uh, repair. And if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment or like and subscribe or anything, please do. And I'll talk to everybody soon. Okay.